Good morning, guys. It is about 8.30 right now. Usually I'm up by like seven and then I have my coffee by 7.15, 7.30. Today's a little bit more of a laid back day. So let myself sleep in a little bit and it is now almost 8.30. So I am starting off this full day of eating with a huge glass of water. I have a glass of water before I eat anything or before I drink my coffee every single day. So I'm going to drink this. Before we get started with this video, I know that I always say this when I do full days of eating on my Instagram stories as well, but I wanna make sure I say it here too because I feel like it is important to say that I'm not saying that this is the way that anyone else should eat or that this is the right way to eat or anything like that. This is just how I happen to eat on this particular day. Everyone is so different, so obviously everyone's needs vary. I would say that this is a pretty accurate depiction of my normal eating day. If anything, I am a little bit more snacky than I show in this video. That is my first disclaimer. Secondly, bear with me here on my editing, my recording, my blabbering. This is my first YouTube video, so I am new to YouTube. Hopefully it'll get better. I can't promise that, but hopefully it will. So every morning I have a Bulletproof coffee. On Instagram, I usually get questions like, why do you drink Bulletproof coffee? What are the benefits? How do you do it? So I thought this would be a good time to go over it. A lot of people think that you have to be low carb or keto or intermittent fast or not have breakfast or a bunch of other things if you drink Bulletproof coffee. And that is just not the case because I don't eat low carb, I don't intermittent fast, I don't do any of that, and I still drink Bulletproof coffee. One, because it tastes really good, I love it, I crave it every morning, I go to bed excited to wake up and drink it. Second reason, I just feel better throughout my day when I start my day off with a healthy fat source. So I just feel like I have better energy levels, more stable blood sugar, don't have any like crashes in the afternoon, I'm not constantly craving sweets <laughs> some days i am but um <laughs> that's just me i've always had a big sweet tooth i feel really focused when i drink it and prepared for the day i feel productive it's just a way for me to get a healthy source of fat in my day especially first thing in the morning i think it makes a big difference so this is not how everyone makes their bulletproof coffee this is just how i do it i do an organic k cup so i brew 10 ounces of coffee strong in my keurig and then i put in my blender a half tablespoon of brain octane oil so this is what makes it bulletproof it's the bulletproof brand brain octane and brain octane is just a more concentrated version of coconut oil so MCT oil is a more concentrated version of coconut oil and then brain octane is even more concentrated than MCT oil. I've tried MCT oil, I've tried coconut oil, and I personally don't feel as much of a difference as I do with the brain octane oil. So the serving size is one tablespoon, but I just do a half tablespoon. I don't know, that's just all I feel like I need. And then I add, you can do grass-fed butter or ghee. Lately, I have been doing ghee. I also like Kerrygold butter. I just do one teaspoon of ghee. This is just what I've been doing lately. I sometimes will switch it up, like I'll do butter instead of ghee, or I'll do a teaspoon of brain octane, maybe every once in a while I'll do a tablespoon. And my homemade cashew creamer. This is literally a godsend. It is my favorite thing ever. It's so easy to make. It's literally just cashews, vanilla extract, pink salt, and water all blended in your blender. I don't even soak my cashews. I don't have to strain it. I do have a Vitamix, which helps. It's super easy to make. I've made it every single week for probably the last two years, maybe three. You can also add a sweetener, optional to add a sweetener. I will leave the link below for this recipe in case you guys wanna check it out. So I'm going to add a splash of this into the blender and then actually either use vanilla or chocolate collagen. They're sweetened with stevia, so there's no added sugar, but it literally makes it taste like a specialty drink from Starbucks, so I love it. And I'm gonna do vanilla today, and I'm actually just gonna do a half scoop. Literally just been this last like few weeks. I have not really been wanting something super sweet in the morning. I just want like a little hint of sweetness. So I've just been adding half a scoop and then it also gives me a little bit of extra protein too. So I'm going to add this and then my brewed coffee all into the blender and that'll be it.
usually I will drink my coffee and get some work done, do some emails or something um, for maybe like an hour or so. It depends on the day. Sometimes I'm hungry 30 minutes later, sometimes it's an hour. So I will get back to you guys when I make breakfast. I am going to make my paleo banana bread mug muffin. I will leave the link for this recipe in the bio as well, but I'll also show you here. All we need is coconut flour, baking powder, half of a banana, an egg, if I drop this, and some cinnamon and a sweetener if you want. Um, I'm not gonna do a sweetener today, I'm not really feeling it. In the recipe, it actually calls for a teaspoon of ground flax, but I am all out. So I'm just gonna use an extra teaspoon of coconut flour. So I have my bowl here. I'm gonna mix everything in the bowl before I pour it into my mug. You don't have to do that. You can just mix it in the mug, but I feel like it looks prettier. I don't know. So I'm gonna cut my banana in half. I always cut it with the peel on because then you can literally stick the other half in the fridge and save it for tomorrow or whenever you want to make this recipe again or you just need half a banana for something. I don't know, a snack. I'm actually gonna use the other half to top it just so I have some extra carbs pre-workout. I don't know why I'm doing this with the bananas. Okay, so I just added four tablespoons and this is what it is looking like. That's the consistency. Um, and now I'm going to transfer it to my mug. I'm gonna put a little bit of avocado oil in the mug just so it doesn't stick. And then we'll put it in the microwave. It's usually about two and a half minute. Depends on your microwave. I know that a lot, I've made it at different places like my old apartment and it was like a little bit different there. So just till it's cooked through in the middle. All right, you guys, I just thought that I was recording, adding all my toppings, and I definitely wasn't. So I'm just gonna tell you what I added. I added a big spoonful of this Abby's Better Strawberry Cashew Butter. The only ingredients are cashews, coconut oil, organic freeze-dried strawberries, pink salt, and vanilla extract. So it's really good, I love it. And then I added the other half of the banana. And then I'm gonna to top it with a little bit more cinnamon. And then I'm also drinking this um, green juice from Clean Juice. I'm obsessed with it. I didn't think I'd be a person who's obsessed with green juice. It's literally just organic cucumbers, celery, spinach, kale, lemon, and ginger. Love it. All right, so here it is with the cashew butter, banana, and cinnamon. I'll show you guys the inside. I can get to it so there it is it's like super moist and fluffy it's so good you guys I am back home it's about 1 30 and I'm starving so I'm going to be making a big salad I'm just gonna use this spring mix from Kroger a couple of these organic valley eggs for my protein I'm just gonna boil that I'm gonna throw on some roasted veggies that I made earlier this week to make my life a lot easier and I'm just gonna throw them in the oven on broil for probably like five or 10 minutes. Sometimes I'll microwave them if I'm in a big rush, but I have a few minutes, so I'm gonna throw them on broil. I just think it keeps them more like crispy that way. I don't know. Microwave food just tastes like microwave food. I'm gonna add half of an avocado and then, you guys might think this is kind of weird, but it's been my obsession lately. So I love the Primal Kitchen Ranch. It is probably my favorite dressing ever. Um, I love all their dressings. I always buy them even though they're expensive. It's worth it to me that they have clean ingredients. It's just avocado oil based, dairy free too. It's paleo friendly, sugar free, cage free eggs. So this is always one of my favorites. And then this is the part that you guys might think is a little bit weird, but I've been adding a little bit of barbecue sauce too. So it's like barbecue roasted veggie salad with ranch. I don't know, it's good. Don't knock it till you try it. Um, I am using this True Made Foods brand barbecue sauce. 
It's a 70% less sugar than Lady Brands. It still has seven grams per two tablespoons. All barbecue sauces are kind of high in sugar, but I don't really mind it. Just add a little bit of that on top as well. for protein. I've got my vegetables, avocado, ranch, and barbecue and salt and pepper. I'm also going to be having it with these super crisp crackers that I love. Those are the ingredients in case you're curious. And then my favorite hummus, Oasis. It's been my favorite brand forever. Let's see. Those are the ingredients there. This has... 10 servings per container. I am not joking, you guys. This lasts me two servings. So whenever I buy them, I literally just have to buy like five at once um, or I'll get the big ones from Whole Foods and those will last me like four days, but I love hummus. These are what the crackers or I guess, they're, I don't know if they're crackers, the crisps look like if you're wondering. And they are seriously so good with this hummus. All right, guys, I just finished whoa, my lunch. I am very full, but I can never eat anything, any meal without dessert. So especially tis the season for these pumpkin spice Emmy's Organics. They are at Whole Foods, I believe, only for a limited time. Um, but yeah, this is what they look like. They are so good. I keep mine in the fridge and I like them that way. They also have like um, a limited edition mint chocolate one that is so good in the fridge. It tastes like a thin mint. But anyways, these are the perfect little like sweet treat when I just need a little something after lunch. Um, so I'm gonna have a couple of these and then I'm gonna go shower and get some work done. I'm like really full right now so Probably have a snack in a few hours. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but I will get back to you guys then. All right guys, I am about to leave to run a few errands. So I thought I would just quickly show you guys what I'm gonna have for a snack before I leave. I am going to have a Honeycrisp apple, a Square Organics protein bar. These have been one of my favorite bars for years. I'm obsessed with them. They taste like a like literally a candy bar because they're chocolate coated. Unbelievable. And then I'm gonna make my little favorite drink. So I love Spindrift because I love sparkling water and I like Spindrift because they use real fruit juice instead of natural flavors like most of the sparkling waters. I don't have a huge problem with natural flavors. If there's a product that I really like and it happens to have natural flavors, I'm not going to avoid that product. But if I can have something that tastes equally as good without natural flavors, then I will choose that. So Spindrift is usually my go-to, but it's kind of expensive. So what I have been doing lately is just buying plain seltzer water, usually the cheapest plain seltzer water, like the only ingredient is carbonated water. So this one is just Kroger's brand. Sometimes I'll buy the Whole Foods brand um, without flavoring. And then I just mix it with a little bit of whatever kind of fruit juice I want. This is the spiced apple cider cold pressed from Suja. And this has been my obsession lately. It's so good, you guys. The only ingredients are apple juice, cinnamon, and clove powder. So I just shake it up and then add a little bit to my cup. So like that much, just a splash. And then I will add my seltzer water right in. Don't even have to mix it. And then it's like a sparkling apple cider. It's so good. And it still has a ton of flavor, even though I'm just using a little bit of it. 
so good, you guys. I can't get over it. Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna eat this apple. And then last thing, I did just wanna show you what the inside of the Square Organics looks like, just in case you haven't seen them or tried them before. I'm not kidding you guys, they literally are a candy bar, a healthy protein bar candy bar. Um, so this is what the outside looks like. That is the inside of the cookie dough flavor. There's also like little chocolate chips in the middle too for the cookie dough flavor. It's one of my favorites. All right, so I'm gonna go run those errands and then I will be back to make dinner. All right guys, I'm back and I am going to be making my last meal of the day. And I'm really not feeling like putting a ton of effort into my meal. So I am going to be making one of these daily harvest bowls. This is the sweet potato and wild rice hash. Um, it's one of my favorites. I love daily harvest. So basically, if you don't know what daily harvest is, they come in these cups to your door frozen. They also have smoothies and overnight oats. These are the harvest bowls, which are more like savory for meals. This is completely frozen right now, and I'm just going to put it in a skillet with a little bit of water and cover it until it is cooked. And then I'll probably add a few things on top. So these are the ingredients for the harvest bowl. It's tomato, sweet potato, wild rice. Um, you guys can read, so I'll stop reading all of them. So you can either put it on the stove top or the microwave. I am just gonna do the stove top. I just added some shredded chicken and some extra avocado. And then I think I am going to top it with this cilantro lime dressing sauce type thing as well. As you can see, that took probably less than five minutes. It was super quick, super easy. Um, I love this one. It kind of reminds me almost of like a Mexican style, like burrito bowl. But it may not be the most photogenic meal ever, but it's tasty and it gets the job done. All right, if you guys have made it this far, thank you for watching. I just wanted to hop on to show you the last thing that I'm gonna eat today, and that is one of my pumpkin chocolate chip muffins. I heated it up in the microwave. It's so good, I love them. I've been making a batch like every week since I first made them. So I'll leave a link for the recipe in the description as well. So I am having that with some tea. This is my favorite tea from Whole Foods lately. It's just the Allegro, which is like their coffee shop brand, I think. Um, it's called Happy Tummy. Not gonna lie here, I'm usually not a have one muffin and be satisfied kind of girl. I usually will have like two. I mean, maybe sometimes I'll have one, but usually I'll have two, but this is the last one of this batch. So I can only have one. But yeah, I'm going to eat this and then call it a night. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have tons of ideas for YouTube videos. So let me know if you guys liked it um, by liking the video or subscribing. Oh, my dog just sneezed. Bless you, Maggie. Oh my goodness. Maggie. Oh, I gotta go check if she's okay. All right, for real, I'm out now. Thanks for watching, guys.